G'day all, today I'm here at the Alfred Hospital, in particular the Burns Unit. I'm here with patient Ellen and the head of the Burns Unit, uh, Dr Heather Cleland. The Burns Unit in the Alfred is one of the biggest in the country and the thing that surprised me when I had the opportunity to tour around that they have uh, 300, so that's 300 people a year that have acute burns. And that's just uh, such a significant event. I thought it was important to talk to Dr Heather here about what are the actual causes of those burns so we can communicate that not only to your brigade members but broadly to your community. Our objective here is to reduce the number. We don't want over 300 people attending this unit. So Heather, what are some of the causes that actually drive people or mean people have to be admitted to this hospital? Well, the, the overwhelming uh, common cause of burn injuries is due to, to accelerants. So um, people throwing petrol on barbecues, um, trying to get uh, grass fires started, burn, burn offs and that kind of thing. Uh, and especially on uh, hot days when there's a lot of petrol vapour around, um, obviously there's a huge potential for explosions to occur and um, uh, people then get caught up in those flames, their clothes catch fire and, and they end up with you know, really severe life-threatening injuries. So I understand it's about a third of the entries of, of causes of fires, of burns, of acute burns are from accelerants and, and it's petrol, if that's right? Mostly petrol, yes. And what are some of the other causes, Heather, of, of people being having to come into the Alfred? Basically, they're often, uh, especially around this time of year, related to uh, leisure activities and in particular uh, the great Australian barbecue tradition uh, often associated with some um, enjoyment of, of beverages and uh, often in those situations where people are drinking alcohol and perhaps not as concentrating as well as they ought to be on on being careful when there are open flames around then we start to see some really significant injuries. So for mine, when I read through some of the statistics, so you've just heard, it's, it's bonfires, it's barbecues, those, those uh, chimeneas, I think they're called, those, those type of fires, bon, uh, the campfires that haven't been extinguished properly, uh, pressure pack cans that are thrown into fires, there's some basic things that people do just uh, that, that will cause acute burns. I think oil heather on stoves in, in the home is another significant yeah, cause well, of burns. The other um, gr big group of, of burn injuries occurs in um, domestic house fires and often that's related to cooking and uh, again young men seem to cook with far too much oil as a rule which often catches fire and then that's uh, when again you get the problem with hot oil spilling on people or their clothes catching fire when the oil catches fire. Campfires uh, that aren't extinguished properly or, or where they've just been extinguished by putting um, dirt or sand on them. Uh, we, we see a significant number of children at the children's hospital, not, not here, uh, who have very nasty uh, feet burns from running through fires that they're not even aware are there, which are covered up by dirt. So if you're extinguishing campfires, you need to put water on them and make sure that they're completely out. So people, there it is, um, over 300 entries to the Alfred Hospital for acute burns, acute burns, not minor burns, these are acute burns. Most of those are male, a good percentage of those are accelerants. Um, it, it is a really clear message that we need to communicate to help prevent people from coming, from being admitted into this hospital and other, uh, other hospitals around the country. How long um, would someone expect to stay in hospital as a result of a, an acute burn here at the Alfred? Well, the average uh, length of stay for an inpatient is around about two weeks, which is a very long stay in this day and age. And obviously it depends on how severe an injury you've got, but um, the acute hos inpatient hospital stays, just the first bit of it. Often there's a um, long period of rehabilitation, people off work, you know, the whole thing completely uh, disruptive. And, and treatment can go on for months. Um, as an outpatient with scar management and that kind of thing. So, you know, even what are classified by us as minor injuries are extremely disruptive so to families. So they flown into the Alfred into intensive care and there's a special section in intensive care for burns unit, hopefully up into the ward and still another two weeks duration on average. So some, and sometimes it'll be longer than that. Oh yes, yeah, some, some of the patients who are more severely injured who come from ice, they can be in intensive care for weeks on end and then sometimes months in hospital before 
months more in rehabilitation. So, so for um, at patients at the more extreme, severe end of the spectrum, this is something that goes on for years. So this, the impacts of the burns are not just the burn itself, you've just heard Dr Heather saying these go on for years and the impacts are quite significant. So, you know, um, burns are something we really need to prevent to make sure that people don't have to go through the impact that we're seeing here today. So I've just had the privilege of visiting the burns unit here at the Alfred Hospital and there's two things that struck me. One, the number of acute burns that happen on a regular basis. Over 300, nearly one a day acute burns that come here to the Alfred Hospital. And two, the passion, the dedication, the support here that the staff give the patient. How can we help? Let's try and stop people coming here in the first place. So this weekend, if you're at a barbecue, if you're at a fire, let's tell people don't go near fuel. If there are things we can do in delivering a message, we actually help the staff to stop people coming here to the Alfred. That's the main thing that we can do here. Hey, it's been a real privilege to tour over the hospital. Great people. Let's see what we can do to stop this happening in the future. Cheers.